Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Coffee with Coaches. My name is Pat Lawler, and joining us today is head men's rowing coach, Tom Barr. Tom, thanks for joining us this morning. Hope you had a nice Easter. How's everything going? Uh, it's, it's going, I guess, as well as it can go right now. It's just um, just trying to figure out daily life like uh, like everyone else and get into a routine, be productive, think about the future, and that's pretty much all we can do right now. Yeah, this is a very usually a very busy time for you and the team. You'd be coming off your season opener against Northeastern this weekend and getting ready to travel to Dartmouth next weekend. You know, being around a team, I know things are pretty regimented, lots of early hours, and everyone's keeping a tight schedule. What are some of the things you're doing and telling the team? Yeah, well, you know, as soon as, I mean, as soon as the guys headed home, you know, we had probably a transition of probably about a week or 10 days, and we just kind of let them kind of get organized and kind of get their heads wrapped around. This is their new life. But, uh, but we've been trying to be active with them. I mean, we have a team meeting at least once a week as, as, as an entire team. Uh, we have a captain's meeting call one, uh, once a week. And then also to the captains. And actually, we voted for new captains for next year. So I just felt like, you know, we have two captains right now. Um, just, just to keep thinking about the future and just with everyone just kind of just, you know, far apart, having, you know, you know, voting for captains for next year. So we have basically four captains just trying to help organize the guys right now. And I know that they've kind of, split the team into four groups that they're all have like eight or 10 guys that they're kind of in closer contact with just talking about their training, just kind of keeping each other on task right now. So um, those are some of the things that we're doing. Um, and I'm actually on our weekly calls as, as a team, um, I tried to invite an alum on to the, onto the call. And uh, last week we had, uh, we had Mac cop who graduated in 16 yep. and Mac is part of the Canadian national team was getting ready to go to the World Cup to qualify for the Olympics. Wow. Um, and the same thing like us and every other athlete out there, getting ready with their eyes on Tokyo and all of a sudden, you know, everything comes to a grinding halt. So I thought it was good for him just to talk to the team about his experience, how he's handling this, how, you know, you know, he had a goal, you know, you know, he has a goal of the Olympics. We have goals of racing week to week and IRAs and Eastern sprints and, you know, how do you regroup from that? And, um, and, and certainly, you know, the coaches were talking about it, but, you know, I think it was good just to hear from somebody else just to talk about what their experience and what they're feeling and just kind of how they're staying motivated and how they're kind of just looking towards the future. And it, it was really, it was great. I mean, the guys, uh, you know, listen, ask questions and, um, and I thought it was, a, it was a good way. So each week on our, on our call, um, you know, we try to have someone come in and just talk to the group a little bit. So, Yeah, well, fortunately for Matt, uh, hopefully he'll get another shot at it in uh, 2021. Sounds like they rescheduled. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, sort of lining certainly for him. So training for your sport is, is very unique. You know, a lot of other athletes like track and field and, uh, and soccer, they can run and train on their own. But during this quarantine, not, not everyone has access to water or, or maybe even an erg in their home. Uh, in right. the quarantine, what are some of the athletes on your team, uh, what are the situations? Do they have access to equipment or, or stuff like that? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a time to get creative. And, um, you know, so, you know, we kind of inventory what everybody has. You know, some guys do have ergs, some guys do have bikes, um, um, some guys have weights. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a little bit of everything. And, um, I feel fortunate that when I started rowing, it was before uh, before the rowing machine was invented where you had it in your home and you were training all the time. So when you weren't on the water, you were doing doing just basically hardcore land training. You were running, running hills, uh, stadiums, circuits with bars and, you know, whatever running, you know, whatever, whatever you could do. And it was really organized. So, um, you know, it, it's actually a time right now. I think the guys are kind of, you know, we said, whatever your routine is, you got to commit to it. And uh, I think they're doing a pretty good job. Like, okay, I'm, I have this equipment and this is my routine and I'm going to work it for this month. And that's kind of what we're thinking right now. It's just going, um, you know, month to month. I'm sure things are going to change, uh, you know, at the end of April and what our next marching order is going to be, whether we can get outside or or they can get back to boat clubs, but chances are another month they'll be doing the same thing. So until that happens, you know, find your, find your routine, commit to it, be, you know, get really good at it, you know, you know, and find that fortitude in the solitude. That's kind of our motto right now. So 
let's let's uh, go back a few weeks now when all this started. You were actually away at spring break uh, in Clemson, South Carolina. I had I had the uh, privilege of speaking to Michael Boston a few weeks ago, uh, who's a junior on your team. Uh, that was the week when everything you know first began to begin got canceled. The NBA postponed their season that week, and NCAA started canceling uh, tournaments. What was that experience like? Uh, for you, uh, if you could talk us through that, and, and what were some of the things yeah. you told your team? Yeah, well, when we left for Clemson, um, you know, it was just, you know, things were kind of changing daily, and, you know, we, you know, at one point, you know, we were going to go on the trip, and, you know, we were just in conversations of, uh, you know, whether we should even go on the trip, but um, but we decided to go on it, you know, the school thought it was, uh, you know, wasn't really sure what the landscape or what direction the country was going to go into, but... You know, once we got down to Clemson, you know, again, things were just kind of swirling. We just try to stay focused on, on on what we were doing down there, what we went down there for, uh, which is to prepare and, you know, get water time for our, for our spring season. Um, but, you know, we did, you know, you could start like each day that we were down there, it was just starting to to really become – you know, we were just waiting for the final word and, you know, you know, the, you know, the NCAA tournament was getting canceled and the Ivy leagues canceled all their, you know, they were telling kids to go home and it was just a matter of time before we thought the same thing for us. But, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I remember it was a, it was a Thursday morning. Um, you know, I had a call with, uh, all the head coaches with Drew, our team had just launched. We were going out there to do kind of a, a race prep workout. Um, I was in the launch on my phone with, with Drew and he basically said that, that this is it. And, um, but I kept the practice running, you know, uh, the kids were all lined up on the water and, um, just watching them row. And it was probably, I mean, we had a great training trip and we had a really great group of, uh, motivated, you know, young men and women on the team this year. And, you know, we had high expectations and I remember just watching the, the pieces cause we were doing full race type work and, uh, I, I just remember, I just kind of just felt like, you know, I had, you know, my tear, you know, I, my eyes were welling up during the, during the workout. And then, um, you know, the guy, you know, and the guys just racing, you know, weren't even, you know, probably going out thinking that could be our last row. And then, uh, when we came in, um, everyone got the boats away, I circled everyone up around the trailer and, um, and then just told them that it, that it was, it was final. And, um, you know, I was a little bit choked up just, uh, you know, when I, when I said it and, um, you know, I think it was, um, it was all words that they probably knew were going to happen, but just like most of us thinking like, you know, if there was ever that 1% chance that if you could, wouldn't have to go through it. And, uh, but there was a lot of emotion. Um, you know, we, um, uh, you know, the seniors had their, you know, it was, it, it, guys were upset. And, um, but one thing I'm glad that it, you know, I'm glad that we did go to Clemson because we um, we did have like another day and a half before we, we came home. Um, you know, we just had a little more time to process it. Uh, we had a team dinner. We went out to a barbecue place in, in Clemson and just, I, I know, I just felt like we were able to just sit around, enjoy each other company, had some time to reflect. I remember at the dinner, the uh, I kind of gave my last talk to the, as a squad. Um, just a little bit of reflections of, of the year and what I felt. And because um, next morning we were heading back to Boston and it was good. Some of the seniors got up and, uh, and talked about, um, you know, just their experiences, you know, and, and, you know, you could tell that they weren't their disappointment coming out. They were just talking more of, uh, yeah, it was, it was hard to lose their senior season, but also kind of rallying the other guys to feel like, you know, take advantage of all the time that you have here moving forward. So, you know, it was hard, but um, I'm glad that we were able to do it. I'm, I'm glad we were in that environment when it happened because I know I talked to some of my colleagues and, you know, that just like got word down and then boom, like, you know, everyone was gone. And I just felt like we had a little bit of, a little bit of closure together uh, before we headed out. So, Yeah, I'm glad you had guys had that time together. It sounded like a, a relatively positive experience and, and Michael was certainly impressed with uh, how you handle everything was appreciative. Um, so you're obviously a very active guy. You're, you're an early riser for sure being in this sport. What are some of the things you personally are doing to, to pass the time? Are you climbing the walls? Like um, the- my first week I was, you know, I mean, I mean, if I, if I backtrack it, I had like, uh, you know, not quite a week of mourning, but I was just kind of miserable just thinking like, uh, 
you know, just like everyone else, the season that may have could have been or whatever. But then I just kind of, kind of quickly kind of put myself into thinking the future, you know, and whatever this, you know, I mean, everyone's in the same, everyone's affected by this, but I kind of just kind of clearly put that, you know, started thinking more positive and thinking of the future and made myself feel a lot better. But, you know, I'm trying to stay in a routine and you know, I'm staying home. Um, I'm not getting up at four in the morning, but I still try to get up at like five thirty and do a little bit of work and, um, you know, exercise. I'm, I'm fortunate to have a little bit of a, a gym in my, in my basement. So just one of those newly invented erg machines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back. Yeah. I got the, uh, got the erg machines doing a little bit of a uh, old school circuit back in the day type thing. And, uh, right. keep my, uh, Try to keep a little bit of fitness, keep my mind straight, but but mostly it's uh, you know I've been busy. You know it's uh, you know there's you know we've been trying to you know we've been staying on a schedule for you know you know contact with the team with these weekly meetings. Um, the last week and a half we uh, we had a thirty minute or forty five minute call individually with everybody on the team, and it was great just to have just a one on one conversation, with coaching staff and uh, the guys on the team, just to. Just to see how they're adjusting and and talk to them, so that that's taken a lot of time. And um, you know, between that and you know, finishing some painting on my house and um, little little projects that I would never ever do in the spring of any year while coaching. <laughs> it is nice so. to the time. Well, great, Tom. Thanks for so much for joining us. It's, it was nice to see you. Um, stay well and stay healthy. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, certainly, uh, just unprecedented times, but, um, but no, it's just, uh, everyone staying positive with it and we'll get through it. Thank you, Tom. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.